Sawati Kop. Hello, everyone. We're at the Siam Market in East Williamsburg, Brooklyn, 555 Johnson Avenue. And I'd like to introduce you to Mikey. Hi, I am the owner for Siam Market. Um, we are a small family business home. Small family. Oh. Small family business here yeah, in small Brooklyn. Small family business in Brooklyn. Um, we carry um, various Thai goods, such as paste and sauce. And then also I want to say this is Joy from Go Vegan yeah. NYC in the East Village. And we're here, and Mikey, sorry about that, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, we have um, paste such as like green curry, red curry, masamon. You know, people always look for that. Um, even the rare ones like sour curry, pork king, jungle curry. Um, one time I actually had a customer, um, she said she was looking for these. And at Whole Foods it was like $4 a can. But ours, it's only like a dollar-ish around, so it's a lot cheaper here and more affordable. And then um, our Pad Thai paste and Tom Yum paste, these two are our best seller in the store. We always introduce it to new customers who come here. Um, you know, everyone loves Pad Thai. Hard part is like the sauce. So we basically do it for you. Um, the noodles are right here. Just soak it in warm water 30 minutes, really easy. Uh, they come out like fresh noodles, so beautiful, nice. And then this sauce, you just dump it in with the noodles. Basically, that's it. And then um, we have the tom yum paste right here too. Um, this one is a soup base, so um, you just get your water ready, and then you add in your meat, mushrooms, then turn off the stove, and then add in this paste. You don't have to squeeze a single lime, and this paste isn't spicy at all, so my pet. You don't have to worry about the spice. And all, both of these are vegan and gluten free. So I know a lot of people are both vegan and gluten free. So Especially um, in Williamsburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially here in Williamsburg. And um, these do contain soy. So hopefully you're not allergic to soy as well. Um, the Pad Thai paste also has no peanuts. So all you peanut allergens right here, um, you can finally enjoy Pad Thai without peanuts in it. Yeah. And then uh, we have more like traditional Thai stuff like, um, you know, bottled, um, what is it, glass canned, like peppercorn, garlic, like finger root. These will be more like um, cooking, like more authentic recipes, like more less well known. And then we have like um, instant noodles right here. These are really popular. Um, I know people love like boat noodles in Thailand. Um, for those of you who don't know boat noodles, so in Thailand you go on a boat and you eat these cute little bowls of noodles And this is what it is in instant form really easy to do. It's definitely better than any instant noodle you can try um, This is the best seller one. This one's a rice vermicelli with um, spicy herbal broth It's when I say spicy. It's actually not that spicy um, It's the black peppercorn in there that makes it spicy. So don't worry about that and um, these are also vegan too, I believe. They don't have any meat. So um, even though the picture says it looks like there's meat in it, but you no, know, they don't have any meat in it. It's just the noodles and the sauce. I actually like this one better. This one is the rice stick noodles. So it's like the Pad Thai noodles, but um, it's dried up. So it has no broth in it. And then the other two flavors here are um, Yentafo, which is the pink noodle soup you've seen in Thai restaurants. And then the other one here is uh, Sukiyaki, um, Thai Sukiyaki. I know that one. Yeah, it's like hot pot. Yeah, something like that. And then um, we have uh, uh, from Cray Pot from Michelli. This one's instant too. Really easy to do. You're lazy one night. Just follow the instructions in the back right here. And then... Um, we got a uh, cow soy paste. This is actually a new arrival. This came like um, about a week or two ago. Um, cow soy is a really trendy, like new Thai food. Now, right I know now. that cow yeah. means rice. What does soy mean? Soy means to like slice, like soy, like to have like julienne slices. Okay. I don't know why it's called that, to be honest, because um, the dish doesn't really have rice in it and like, I guess it's because of the veggies, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it is a northern dish, so um, my parents are from Bangkok, so they don't really know either. Actually, when my mom first heard of this dish in Thailand, 
she thought it was rice too. <laughs> so you're not the only one. Yeah, yeah, so it has, okay, it has nothing to do with rice. I actually don't know. I have no idea. You have to ask someone who's from Chiang Mai or something. Yeah, okay. these pastes are actually from Chiang Mai too. Um, the noodles and the paste. Both of these are really hard to find. Um, yeah. And then uh, more even less so known, but like really good curry pastes are in uh, Nam Nyo, which is, um, you use like um, the rice from Michelli right here, which is like a spaghetti consistency. And then it's added with like minced meat and tomatoes. It's really good. And then Nam Pik Pong is sort of like a Thai chili, I would describe, and more like a chili slash chili paste. You know, like your Thai traditional chili paste, but it also has like pork in it and like Ooh. minced meat. Yeah, it's minced meat. You can do okay. chicken, I think. I don't really know, but yeah, it's a uh, chili. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, and then you just dip it with like um, lettuce and uh, plants. We have um, the sauce right here. This is also our bath sauce. So um, I know the owner personally. She makes like tons of sauce. Um, she sells really well. Her name is, uh, her, her business name is SD Sauce. Um, she has her own Instagram page. You can even follow her. Let me zoom stuff. in on that. Yeah, she sells really well. SD. Um, yeah, South it's really Dakota. spicy. No, it's not. It's actually, um, I think it's her name. Yeah, Suta. Suta, I think I forgot her last name, but it's Suta. That's her name. You can look it up. She makes you here in Long Island City, so. You want to support local business there you go long island or long island city long island city oh, okay so like very close yeah yeah exactly uh i know her personally she's great she does cool videos on instagram i don't know how, know how to eat her sauce so um yeah you can dip this with uh seafood uh this is what we traditionally do shrimp crab. Mm. yeah nam jim seafood uh, that's what it's called uh but you can dip it with chicken as well it's fine with that too and then all your vegans out there, we also have a ginger vegan option that she made. Um, it's more like a cow guy sauce. It's uh, the Heinese chicken with rice. Um, yeah, this one's for, for ginger vegan. Because the original has fish sauce in it, so, you know, some people don't like that. And then we have, like, the sweet chili sauce and more normal sauces. Um, all the seasoning, Golden Mountain, help. Healthy Boy brand, mushroom sauce, uh, the black soy sauce, which I actually recommend this one if you're ever making katsu you I always recommend the orange cap right here. Um, gives it the dark color uh, in um, that noodles. And then also gives it like a dark color if you want to put in stew or like um, Pao Kapi if you know that Muwan. Yeah, this is what I use to make it dark. I don't really recommend this one which is right here this is more like a sweet soy sauce um, i use the mushroom one when i make ponzu sauce yeah yeah but um the some people would brand. say oh go for this instead of that but okay. this one really ruins the flavor because it's sweet so yeah that's just a tip from me and then we have your fish sauce you know tip arrows and then, um, squid that's like your normal thai brand your sauce and then we have pala, also known as la, as padak. So, um, padak? Yeah, padak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, padak, so. Padak, sauce. Yeah, Lao people Concentrate love this too. Sauce. And then Lao isan. Yeah, like Thai isan too. Mm -hmm. And then we have coconut milk. We have options of coconut milk. We have can. And we have box, which is a lot fresher than the can. Aroi D, that means delicious. Yeah, right? Aroi D means delicious, yeah. This is really good. And then um, we have vegan options too, it's like meat, uh, meat alternatives. Um, like banana blossoms or be and Thai, this is what we call. I'll be honest, I've never used this, but um, I think people use it for like meat substitutes. Mm -hmm. Substitute for the chicken. Yeah, and then yeah. Like the tonka, huh. They can use the banana blossom. And, and then this one is also the unripe jackfruit. Mm -hmm. This one is also another meat substitute. For jackfruit option. curry, possibly? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. This one I heard gives it more like a pork consistency. Um, okay. I'm not sure. Because I always eat meat, so. I know. Okay. I eat everything, but yeah. This uh, this is the one I eat the most. This one is a uh, gluten free duck. Mm -hmm. I mean, not gluten free. Uh, gluten duck. duck. It's a uh, mock duck. Yeah, or someone has mock duck. Um, yeah. It so it's like really a duck. good. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> I definitely love this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay. we do have vegan options here too. So um, then we 
have palm sugar, you have lobo powder, that's like Thai, and then what else? Yeah, also non Thai stuff, some Malaysian stuff right here, Malaysian curry. We normally have laksa paste, but we ran out for today. And then we have sambal, so if you ever need some Southeast Asian stuff, we do have a little here too. And then over here, this panel is um, snacks. Oh, wall panel is like snacks. Um, we have Siamese some, snacks? Thai snacks, yeah, <laughs> Siamese snacks, yeah, I guess. Uh, this one is Thai tea. Well, everyone loves Thai tea, but you yeah, know. so that's a popular one there. Thai yeah. iced tea. This is not sweet, all right, because um, a lot of people like to think it's sweet because you know restaurants like to make it sweet, but it, the tea itself is not sweet at all. Um, it's really easy to do too. Just you get your water, brew it, and then get this on um, net right here. Comes out as a net. And that's it. That's I never knew about the net. Yeah, it's actually better than a cheesecloth because um, cheesecloth can sometimes slip and slide and then you get like the residue in your tea which ruins your day and then you have to like do it over again. This one you just squeeze it, very simple. And then um, this one is the green tea mix cha tamu. It's alright, like um, actually I like the Thai tea one better but the green tea works too. Um, yeah. Uh, we mostly use it, this one's more for like the milk, like green tea milk. This one's more for like the typical green tea, hot green tea. Yeah. And then we have um, agar as well. Agar is from like gelatin alternative. Um, I think it's a lot better than gelatin. So yeah. And then now for the snacks. Oh, uh, we have like um, kao tan, which is from Northern Thailand, in Thailand they call Nang Wet. I've had that yeah. possibly in Chiang Rai. Yeah, yeah, they call Nang Wet in, in, in the north. Wet. In, in the north, yeah. Okay. That's their dialect. Yeah. And then um, this one is potato chips with yellow butter. This one's a pineapple biscuit. This one you can eat in the morning. Sort of like a British tea and biscuit thing. Yeah, so it's really good. Uh, you have bento snacks, you sell really well among Thai people. This one too, this is like a biscuit stick. It's funny because a lot of snacks that we sell good for Thai people, we don't sell with like non-Thai people. And the snacks that we sell with non-Thai people, we sell good with Thai, we don't sell good with Thai people. It's like the opposite. It's like people have different tastes, yeah. Um, so yeah, dry banana, this one's sun-dried with honey, really good. Um, yeah. Actually, most of these snacks we imported, so... Um, from Thailand? Yeah, directly from Thailand, 40 feet container. It's like huge, you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, it takes like 45 days to get here. Um, pretty long. Now, I have a question. Mm -hmm. On the other side of this wall here is how your business started like 16 years ago. Yeah. So through this door is actually your wholesale distributorship, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we didn't have this whole area before. This whole area. So how new is the store we were just in? Uh, it was actually, uh, we had a work reconstructed for us yeah. only um, August. This is the rice shipping from Thailand. Yeah, we sell a lot of rice. Yeah, they, they do wholesale and a lot then, Yeah, this is our original state, business. Right? Not 50 states, probably like 25 something. That you ship to? Oh no, my dad does the driving. Uh, well, he hires someone now, but like, he still goes with him. Okay, but you ship to other states, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, my dad does the driving for that. That's okay. how we ship it. We don't really ship it to like FedEx or USPS. Yeah. Okay, so there, this is the loading dock right here. Yeah. You got your forklift. So <laughs> this store is just like a very recent addition to yeah, exactly. where this, we are right now. This is actually constructed in August, so in the summer. So it's very relatively new. Actually this door over here that leads to, um, this whole area is actually the warehouse. It's just that um, we, we, we kind of box it and make it into a store. Now um, I really like this clock up here by the way. Oh yeah. It's the Thai numbers. It's really cute. It makes it more like an old-fashioned thing. Actually, you want to see our original store before the summer? It's actually over here, which is surprising because you don't see anything anymore. Just this tiny space was your store? No, actually, we had two tables here. 
those are like white table. We didn't have the shelf. The shelf was didn't exist before. It's like a white table here and a white table here, and then everything was kind of like this, like that, except <laughs> no barriers here. It was kind of like unorganized, and then um, this whole area was just a warehouse. And then people came in. We gave them a sheet to fill out, and then they read what they want. And they checked because March. of COVID. Yeah, that was during Not March. Not letting people in at the time. Yeah, that was during March. My mom was really scared. So <laughs> she didn't want anyone coming in, touching anything. She didn't even want people to touch stuff. Like, um, yeah. Uh, she didn't want people to touch the fridge either. Oh, yeah, let's look at the fridge. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. do have some items in here. Oh, you got drinks. Is this you have green papaya. Yeah. Well, we're not a big store yet, um, so we only have very few produce. We only get them day by day. Um, yeah, and we try to keep it fresh, so that's why um, our wholesale doesn't have produce. So this this veggie section is actually only for retail. Right. Um, so you have Thai Thai kimchi. Oh, that's Korean. <laughs> yeah, 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 we have some other Asian stuff as well. Well, like, um, I know some people ask for, like, uh, some mirin or rice vinegar. And there's no, like, Asian store around here. So we kind of felt That's what I was going to say. Because, like, too. I wanted to ask you about that. Because, like, when I, th when I want, like, Thai groceries or, like, Southeast Asian food, yeah. right away I start thinking Elmhurst, Queens or Jackson Heights or somewhere yeah. like that. Yeah. So, like, it's great that you have something like this in Brooklyn. But also, like, a lot of people, I think they're, like, from California or they just moved here. So, they don't really know that area. So, they only know, like, um, this area and in Manhattan, probably. Plus, you can't yeah. pull your car. You can't, like, just easily pull your car into anywhere in, in um, Elmhurst that I'm aware of. Like, yeah, it's exactly. It's difficult to go around there with a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, if you, um, outside, like, there's a couple parking spaces outside. So like that's it's, um, that's a plus. Actually, most of our customers are from around here. They don't even have a car either. So um, and you can walk here from the L train on Jefferson Avenue. Yeah, most of them live in like the Bushwick area down that way, like near the L and M. So yeah, that's I would say about eighty percent of our customers. So it's a lot actually. In the beginning, when um, the COVID pandemic hit, it used to be a lot of people from like um, Queens, Manhattan, and mostly Thai people. Because, you know, all the stores were closed. So, but now it's shifted to more towards, like, non-Thai and, like, people looking also for non-Thai stuff as well. Like, the wine here, like, the Shaoxing wine, you know, people... I've had... Before I actually had this, a lot of people were asking for, like... A lot of people were asking for that and, like... I was like, oh, maybe we should get it because, you know, we kind of filled the void of uh, Asian market around here, too. Because the nearest Asian market, I think, is one on Myrtle Avenue, and it's Chinese, and I don't think they have everything. I've never been there, but, um, yeah, it's not... If, if, it, if they had everything, then people wouldn't have to come here, so, yeah, that's why. And then, so, yeah, these are, again, also non-Thai stuff. This is also people asking for it. So, like, oh, grandma is really popular for some reason. I have no clue. I actually never tried it myself. So, I've only seen people ask for it. So, that's why I got it. And then the same thing with the spices down here. Um, yeah, a lot of these stuff, you know, people asking, you got this, you got this. So, I was like, yeah, let's get it. Why not? You know, let's give it a try. There's no harm to it. And then um, back to our more and not Thai stuff. So it's uh, we have frozen's right here. We have fish balls. You can put in ramen. You have meatballs. These are actually from LA. From so where? The Champ brand. It's from LA, Los Angeles. Oh, fish. that's from Thailand. That's uh, that's from. What is it? Um, Mac. Mekong, yeah, Mekong, yeah, but to Mekong, yeah, that's where it's from. And then Pasali Bangbal, yeah. I'm trying to think of the name for a second. So, yeah, the Champ Meatball brand is really popular in LA. Um, I'm sure, I think a lot of customers from California, they recognize this brand. So, yeah, we actually are the only ones who distribute it here. 
um, maybe you'll find at other stores, but they eventually buy it from us because they they don't distribute it on the East Coast. We're the ones who are doing it for them. So yeah, we have the complete collection. We have pork, beef, and all the tendons too. Tendons? Yeah, you can use them for boat noodles, and if you're gonna use them for non Thai stuff, you can use them in pho too, really popular. So yeah. when you say boat noodles, yeah, that's something you would get at a floating market. Yeah, exactly. And that's katong mat. Katong mat? That's a Thai dessert. I like banana better, but taro is good Kui too. Kui is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we also have um, kanom goi and kanom ta, uh, pura. And then uh, kanom patong is um, basically steamed cakes. They're frozen, you can like wait. Kanum faktong? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, faktong in Thai means uh, pumpkin. <laughs> but yeah, I know, it sounds like you're saying that way, but yeah, it's fuck, it's different. <laughs> uh, this one is kanum tan, it's a uh, palm cake. Uh, it's funny, I actually had one customer before, he um is allergic to coconut, but mm -hmm. he was like, anything that's palm is fine, which is really odd. It's like, um, he can't do coconut, but he can do palm, so he could eat that, but he can't eat the charred coconut on it, which is really weird, because it's from the same, like, it's technically the same tree, so I don't you know. You can see that. Yeah. In Thai, they call uh, Phak Thong. This is in Thai, they call uh, Kanom Phak Thong, they call uh, steamed pumpkin cake, in, we should say steamed pumpkin cake, but in Thai they call <laughs> I see. Yeah, and then we have um, hot man, which is also like um, spicy fish cakes. Popular appetizer in Thai restaurants. I'm sure a lot of people have had it. Um, the one here is you can actually microwave, but um, I don't recommend. I would actually fry it up better. Yeah, I don't microwave much. Yeah, anything. yeah, I would fry it better. But if you're lazy, you know, you can microwave, but. Uh, we also have the chai dumplings too. These are Gui Chai Talat Pu. This is actually from uh, the famous Talat Pu. I think it's in Bangkok. This is. This, do you know Talat Pu? You know the house? Uh, Kung Tep, yeah, it's from Bangkok. So, yeah. Um, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. You can air fry it even. Just make sure if you air fry it, you brush a bit of oil. And the same thing with the macro patu is also you can air fry it as well, just brush a bit of oil. Keeps it from drying out. So yeah. And then we have um, banana leaves. People look for that all the time. I know like Filipinos too, we get Filipinos customers, they use that. And then uh, we have pandan leaves. A lot of people also have been asking for that. And yeah, it's hard to get that here too. Um, and the cafe lime leaves everyone knows about. Uh, yeah, right I use those there. in tom kha. Yeah, tom kha, tom yam, uh, even curry, green curry, red curry. Uh, you can do that too. It's not necessary, but if you like the herbs uh, smell, I would put it in. And then um, we have finger root. This is a bit well less known to um, non-Thai people. But yeah, it has a lot of health benefits to it. Um, I think there was even a claim that it like helped with COVID. I'm not exactly sure about that, but yeah. Um, we have also the stink bean, famous stink bean you see in Thailand, normally with like saute. It's possible, yeah. So very smelly, but also good. <laughs> and then we have um, more like sausages here. Um, we have Isan sausage. Yeah, I always think of sausages as from the north of Thailand. Oh no, this one is from the north, the Sai Ua. Okay. This Isan is from the northeastern part. It's just, that's why it's called Isan, yeah. So yeah, Sai Kao Isan is um, with rice in it. It's also sour because of that fermented rice. And then this one is Sai Ua, which is a bit more salty. Has like kaffir lime leaves and lemongrass into it. Uh, both are good. I would actually get both, but yeah. You know, it's up to the person, but yeah, I would get both. Um, you can eat it by itself, or you can have it with papaya salad, it's up to you. And then this one is uh, hoi jaw, this one is a bit less well known too. This one's good, you slice it up, and then you fry it, and then you dip it with sweet chili sauce. And galangal is also used in tonka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Actually, ka in Thai means galongo. Okay. So, yeah, right there. That's and this is what fresh. it actually looks like, by the way. If That's it's not the fresh frozen. one. This is hard to find. Um, fresh galongo. We had um, kaffir lime leaves a few weeks ago. No, not the leaves, the lime, actually, the fruit of the lime. Yeah, the I saw it on your. Leaves. I saw it uh, advertised well, on your sheet. you're out of sheet. season now. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just contacted my safari. They're like, oh, we're not getting them until July, so. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, uh, back to our frozen. So um, we have um, Hun Chiang. This is really popular. Um, this is like a Chinese sweet sausage. Really good, really sweet. You can do fried rice with it as well. This one is Mu Yao. Um, Mu is pork. Yeah, Mu Yao is uh, like a pork meat roll flavored with fish sauce. Um, Thai people use it, Vietnamese people use it, Lao people use it. So, yeah. Oh, and then this one too. This one is good. I love this. Yeah, one. it's better when you take them out because otherwise you get a reflection off the Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, this one is Nam, or in Lao they call it Sommu. It's a signature um, icon for like Lao and Northeastern Thai dishes. A lot of people actually eat these raw, raw, um, which is a bit. Um, well, unsafe, but uh, my mom, she doesn't like to eat it raw. She always boils it, and then she sautés it into um, fried rice. So, yeah, you can eat this raw, but, you know, it's meat. I wouldn't eat it raw, so, I don't know. Sushi for me is fine, but this is a bit, you know, questionable, so, yeah. And then we have, um, you know, mokgang, and then, um, I don't know, uh, what is it? It's a famous uh, S&P brand. I'm sure if you ever been to Thailand, first thing you go in the airport, you see S&P store. Yeah, this is from that store. <laughs> it's that very famous. Yeah, very high end dessert store in Thailand. You definitely, if you ever go to Thailand, that's like one of the first stores you see in Thailand. Oh so, yeah, Chiang Mai <laughs> And then um, we have uh, what is it? I forgot this name. Yeah, I forgot for a second. Oh, this is good, so I was talking about it earlier. Cut on my foot and then cut on my foot. Um, you can just my foot and these. And then this one that people love. Yeah, that's like the number one dessert, I oh think. Oh my god, stick. It's so simple, but it's so good. Um, sticky rice and mango. This mango is actually from Thailand. So mm -hmm. it's the Nam Dok Mai mango mm -hmm. that people love so much. Yeah, do you sell it. mangoes when they're in season? Yeah, well, we sell, sell like um, Kyo So right? But okay. that's the only mango we sell. We don't have Nam Nok Mai. I don't think they cultivate a lot of it here in America. Which is unfortunate because um, it's such a good mango. <laughs> I don't know why. It's it's really weird. Um, most Thai restaurants here, they use, um, what is it, that other yellow mango. That's a bit smaller and skinnier, which isn't good. Champagne? Yeah, it's a lot tardy and more sour, you know. I don't really like it. I I had this at the airport once, this like dessert, and it was so good. So you can imagine the mango in Thailand. For those of you who haven't been there, <laughs> yeah. If if it's good at the airport, you can imagine how good it is when you actually have it in the market. And then we have a frozen galongo. This one is the frozen one. So it's sliced up, ready to use. Just. You have to defrost it, and that's basically it. Yep. And then we have a frozen frit kinu. This one is um, red chilies, bird side chilies. Yeah, spicy. really spicy. Yeah. And then this one is um, chai. This is also finger root, but it's uh, sliced up. We use it from. You can use it for sour curry. It's up to you, or you can put it in like a uh, pad pick. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, it's a bit less well known to non Thai people. Wow. And then we have Sato too. This one also is a bit like no one outside of um, Thailand knows this, but um, this is really bitter. Also, it's a bit more old fashioned Thai. Um, a lot of younger people don't really eat this either, so very, really, fairly bitter, so that's probably why. Um, this one is also a roti, a parata. This is roti. Um, this is. um crates before it was a thing, like before it got mainstream. So um, Thai people have been eating this for quite a long time. So uh, we have it for breakfast, just like crates, but um, 
you roll it up and then um, put condensed milk and then you can put like bananas or fruits on it. It's really good. Or you can do it with um, masaman curry. You can put it in curry as well. Even Indian curry works too. Um, and then we have um, spring roll wrappers. These are um, your typical spring roll wrappers. Uh, I have a lot of Filipino customers who ask for this because they're making limpia. So um, this is it. We have these as well. Yeah. So now you're like sought out item that people ask for. What? We've been carrying these. Um, these are crullers. These are patangko. This in Thailand we eat it with soy milk, like warm soy milk. Is this like a breakfast. churro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Yeah, it's so good. Or you can dip it with condensed milk up to you. And then uh, we have this big eye over here. Fish. Uh, yeah, it's cat Oh, it's, 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 yeah, so it's a, uh, you can stir fry it. A lot of Americans do not like this, so, you know, <laughs> I love it personally, especially when it's like a catfish salad. Like, uh, yam padokpu, so they like mince up all the meat, and they fry Lab? it up. No, yam Yeah, like a lab, yeah. It's not really a lab, it's, um, but they fry it up, that's the difference. So okay. it's, um, they mince the meat and then they fry up the meat. And then they put it with like mango and these tomatoes. It's really good. I love it. It's really crispy too. It's not really like lab lab. It's a bit more like minced meat. It's a bit like the texture is different. The fruit is a bit different too. This has no glutinous rice in it. So, or cow poor doesn't have that. So, it's a bit different. Uh, I would say it's more similar to like a yam pa mamuang or something like that. Yeah. This is catfish, and then we have mudfish too, which is a uh, baton. Uh, where is it? I don't think we have any more left, but we have the, the sliced one right here. Yeah. And then we have a big one that's like with a head on, looks similar to a catfish. But this is baton mudfish. You can just fry it up and stir fry your red curry, or you can steam it up. Okay, this is just more like Vietnamese, but yeah. Then my mm -hmm. what else we have? We have uh, ice creams. Um, we're trying to get more, but um, our supplier they said um, it's not. They don't carry it right now because of it's winter right now, so we don't want to be selling ice cream during winter. But yeah, these are good. These are dairy free. Does not contain any milk, so. Um, really good for lactose intolerant people you know <laughs> a lot of Thai stuff you know kind of handles like the lactose intolerant or like vegan people yeah so really good alternatives if you like Thai food uh yeah so these two are actually our popular ones that's actually why it's that's sold where they're out. sold out yeah the durian you know a lot of people do not aren't too amazed with it uh, I like it personally but you know a lot of people aren't too amazed at it so and then this one is actually really good, but uh, you know, it has sticky rice in it. It's good as well, but eh, it's, it's over. I like the dessert better, <laughs> you know? And then this one is just your typical bowl of ice cream. This one ha does have milk in it, but it's really good. All of course, are really chewy. It's from Taiwan, so yeah. And then, um, oh, and then we have a little section right here. These are a bit more like Japanese. It's the noodles right here, like Taiwanese, Singaporean, Korean down there. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, behind you right here is also another shelf. Same shelf as the snack we showed you earlier. Um, these are instant noodles. Mama, YY, pop, pop, popular brands. Three, four dollar too. Yeah, Won't break your price. buck. Yeah. And then um, rice right here. I don't, did I talk about the rice yet? No. No, right? Okay, yeah. So the white rice, um, really easy to do. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. One cup of rice, one cup of water. That's it. Uh, it will, it will smell up your whole house with like rice in it. It's really floral. When this I made it in my dorm, it's rice. so good. This is jasmine rice. Yeah, it's real jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. You can um, it's not like the one you buy at Costco or Whole Foods. 
And this is one is a bit more rare. Some people have probably have never seen. It's brown jasmine rice. Brown rice, jasmine it's, rice. Yeah, it's basically two good things combined to one. Yeah. And then um, this one is a sticky rice. rice oh yeah. This is jasmine yeah. rice, rice. This berry. one's a rice berry. I'll do a raspberry first. This one's a rice berry. This one they did like a whole project in Thailand to find like a good rice. Um, they cross better with like brown rice and the local rice there. Um, they wanted a rice that's um, really light, also has a lot of nutritional benefits and fiber in it. So this is what they came up with. It's like a superfood, yeah. And then we have your typical sticky rice, Thai people love. Actually, Isan Thai people love this and also Lao people. Um, this one is uh, called, we call it Kaneo Kyungu, which is um, really easy to do. It's um, one hour, just soak it for one hour. Our um, competitors, they, uh, this, their sticky rice is another variety, which is called Sampaton. It's, um, you have to soak it overnight. Um, so ours is just one hour, really easy. And then steam it up, comes out. Yeah. And then black sticky rice, um, we have that as well. It's more for desserts. It's not really that um, used for like eating, normal eating. It's more for desserts. Have some non food stuff, oh. care baby powder, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sun silk shampoo. This is popular among like uh, I think Chinese people or like Burmese people, they like sun silk. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, okay, we have nice. Do you get Burmese people shopping here? Yeah, we get Burmese people too. Actually, we just got Burmese people today. Um, they bought like uh, the Hailbu Boy, it's really good, the Hailbu Boy syrup. Okay. Yeah, that's why the green is sold out. They love their green. Uh, we have more in the back though, but oh uh, yeah. Uh, we have like the boku, like toothpaste. And then we have uh, masks. We have masks from Thailand. We have like white cloth. And then we have this one. This one that people love so much if you've ever been to Thailand. It's Yadom. It's uh, basically Yadom. a nose mint. So, um, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. A nose mint, yeah. So we use for like a headache or like fatigue or any like um, if you're feeling dizzy, you just need something to wake you up. This is it. And then we have um, spoons right here. These are zebra spoons. These are. I'm actually pretty shocked because these actually sell really well on online. So we do online too. So these really. Oh, you sell. do online? Yeah, uh, online delivery to Mercado. Uh, you Mercado? Can, yeah, yeah, you can order like through the Spanish us. word for market. No, actually it's Italian. Is it? Oh, okay. I think it's Italian too. So yeah. Um, yeah, so we do that too. Actually, these sell really well for some reason. I do not know what people use it for, but yeah. Huh, interesting. It's really interesting that stuff, even things that sell as well, with like non-Thai people, would sell well. Yeah, this one of the stuff that's really interesting. Uh, we ship to all 50 states there, I see. Yeah, that's only our retail, not our wholesale. So, um, if you want to do wholesale, unfortunately, we don't have the logistics for that yet. Well, we're really small, so that's why. Um, and then we have, um, yeah, so these are the lays, and then we have Joke too. And then, yeah, snacks, some more snacks over here. And that's well, I want to say thank you for giving me the tour. Yeah. And that's. Oh, one last thing. This one. Oh, holy this basil. This guy is uh, really hard to find. Holy basil, yeah. Um, you saute it with um, kapao, pat kapao. This is what it's called. Um, in Japan, they actually know kapao, but they don't know how kapao tastes like. This is the real kapao, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it you know, doesn't stay that long, so we don't get it every day. We get it really like try every weekend, but since it's winter, it's really hard to find. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't last long. We don't really, we don't like getting it. Same thing with these. These are the rice noodles too. You can use for like patsy or drunken noodles. Retail cool guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that too. Or fifty a lot. It's so good. I love that dish. Uh, yeah, so we don't get these. These are like weekends only or like Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. And that's basically it, I think. Um, we're really small right now, so we don't really have a lot of space to go through a lot. I mean, 
Uh, on Mikado, like, if I check, we have, like, actually 500 items in here, which is pretty shocking. Like, 550, I think. Even though it's such a small place. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, how do you say goodbye in Thai? Kapkun Kap. It's the same way as, like, Aloha or, like, Namaste. Namaste, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Alright, Mike, you all, thank you. Yeah. Stop by the store if you're yeah. ever in the area, 555 Johnson Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. Oh, and we're also a bit hidden, so please keep an eye out on the sidewalk sign and then on um, Orange Door. It's really tough near a trailer when you see, like, trailer. It's really, like... It's an industrial looking area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in a it's whole a warehouse, so um, please don't expect, like, a normal store here. We're not really a normal store. Or a supermarket, even. I know some people come in here and they're like... Oh, I thought your store would be a lot bigger, but then they're like, um, oh wait, no, it, we're just like, I would classify us as more of a convenience store, more like, um, small convenience store, hard to find stuff. But conveniently located, not far from the Jefferson Avenue. Exactly, Avenue exactly, stuff. yeah, 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 I would be, we would be more like a convenience store, not really a supermarket, so please don't expect us to be like that, and then, um, as for non-Thai stuff, I know a lot of people ask for like um, non-Thai stuff, but like um, like I said, we don't have a lot of space. And then if it's a lot of people asking for it, then I'll get it. But if it's not a lot of people are asking for it, like um, I had a mapo tofu um, sauce right here. What is it? These sauces right here, I had people asking for it, but then it wasn't enough people, so now they're just like here and like takes up space, you know, so like, anything that sells quick, like Lao Gong Ma, please recommend us, you know, anything that's not... So uh, if somebody wants you to stock something, they should just let you know if they're a frequent shopper. Yeah, no, actually, because, um, like these, the Lao Gong Ma, yeah, we know they sell well, because everyone loves it right now, it's really trendy, so that's fine, but like, um, anything like, um, these, like, they're, they're alright, but, um, it's just that our store is more Thai, it's like, um, we don't, like, I don't know, these don't, they sell alright, but like, they're not fast, we want something that moves fast, so you can recommend us any fast stuff, item stuff, I like, get emails too sometimes, but then, you know, it doesn't sell fast, I don't get it. Okay, but, well, thank you yeah. very much. Stop here if you're ever in the area. Yeah, definitely. What is this, the name of the store again? It's Tell Siam again. Market, or Talat, so yeah, I'm in Siam Market, 555 Johnson Avenue, yeah, Brooklyn, yeah. New York. Have a good night. Yeah, you too.